Dark Red Tide Art. Oh my goodness, I think this is my favorite squishy to date because it is so, so ultra slow rising. It is so easy and you know what? It was probably the easiest out of all my squishies to make. So come on, let's take a look and see how these squishies are made. Okay, this is so easy. Uh, you take an empty crisp packet, you don't even have to clean it because you're not going to be using it inside and you start taping. Now, if any of you watched my unicorn squishy earlier this week, man, that was fiddly, the unicorn. Now, this is so easy. So the first, the only bit that's slightly fiddly is this first piece because I'm just going to snip here so I can fold it over. But apart from that, I'm going to keep getting tape everywhere. Apart from that, it's really easy. Sorry, I had tape stuck to my scissors. Here we go. Hold it over. Hold this over and tuck. Here we go. And then you literally start taping down. Now I'm just using a, a plastic back, back surface on the back. This just allows me to then lift it off easily later. So you don't have to use it, but I do think it makes it a bit easier. If you've got like a plastic notebook, that's perfect. Literally go up. Open it, tuck these over. And here as well, tuck them over. Now I haven't gone right up to the edge, so I need one more. I've got a bit of a fold in there. That's a bit annoying, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, you know, it is just waste. And once you've stuck it all together and you're using it, you probably won't notice it so much, but it is annoying. Oh, I didn't do it very neatly. Never mind. You'll see my other one is lovely. So try and get it as neat as possible. And flatten it. There we go. I think it will still look good. Turn it round and repeat. Ready for stuffing. Now, what stuffing did I use? If you've watched my other squishy videos, you'll know I have a preference towards my old pillow <clears throat> that we no longer need. It's got great stuffing inside, so it's free and I love it. Um, but if you don't have that, you can use plastic bags. You can try maybe using other crisp packets. Uh, some people like using tissue paper. Now the tricky bit I can never quite work out is how much to stuff it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in and then see, what do you reckon? Probably a bit too much, but oh, it's so tempting. Maybe a tiny bit less. Half of that, how's that? Okay, and then almost finished. You take your tape and you sellotape it shut. Here we go. Snip off carefully the ends. I want to create a hole. And let's see. Moment of truth. Oh, I love the sound of this already. I love this. So I've only got a little hole somewhere. It's not very much. You can hear it squishing. And what I love about these, so look at this one. Earlier on, I really oh, squished it. And it's ultra ultra slow rising mainly because it's got hardly any holes in it they are really great they're so fun now if i leave these for five minutes they're probably all unsquished super slow if that's too slow for you i mean because look at this one this is super mega slow rising if that's too slow for you um just again as before we've talked about this before use um, some uh, a needle poke some little holes and that will help the air escape but also to get back in but um, I left this one whilst I was making the other one and basically it was back to normal by the time I finished making this. <laughs> so if you like this squishy, uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and above all, keep watching and keep making and we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care, bye.